Hello, this is Rich White with the Greenwich Education Service Center and the EDUSIM project here. Today I want to show, do a quick screencast of the process of getting resources from the Google 3D Warehouse the, uh, and leveraging the new Cobalt function of importing KMZ and the Collada zip formats. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is search, um, then we'll save our model position, uh, then we'll save our world, and then, then there's a slight little texture bug in how we share worlds uh, through the web. So we're going to show how we'll get around that um, for sharing our worlds. But first, let's do a quick search. So we'll go to the Google 3D Warehouse, and we're going to do something we want to a quick little dino dinosaur skull resource. And we've got one here. Now once we find the resource in Google 3D Warehouse, if you're not familiar with it, the web address for the Google 3D Warehouse is sketchup.google.com backslash 3D Warehouse. And these models are, are all produced in SketchUp, the Google 3D modeling software, which is at sketchup.google.com. So once we find our model through the Google 3D Warehouse, we'll uh, get a quick preview and then we'll get a download um, option here. Uh, we'll click that and we'll search for either the KMZ file format or the Collada zip format. Those are the formats we'll want. So I went ahead and downloaded this ahead of time. I put it into my meshes directory. Um, and you'll probably want to do something similar. So you'll want to come up in the meshes directory is when you just pop open the regular EdgeSim or Cobalt um, directory. You'll, you'll go to contents and then you'll see meshes and then I created one uh, SketchUp and then also rich SketchUp models that that I'm dumping these into so now that we have found what we wanted and we've downloaded we've put it we've we've put it in our SketchUp directory um, let's go ahead and just import it here real fast we'll go to things and load from local file we'll see our our mesh directory we want to hit this arrow scroll down and go to Go to, um, I have that in animals, I think. There's the skull, KMZ format. Import that here real fast. Okay, it's going to first ask me the scale, and this it's going to bring up a, a little indicator. This model has the dimensions of 0.6 meters, and I want that to be quite a bit bigger, and that's relative to your avatar size and the world, so it is relative to the size. It's going to tell us where this is going to put relative to the avatar. So I'll just go ahead and make that 10 times its normal size. Okay, and then we'll see it. There's our skull that we imported from the warehouse. Um, if you command and then mouse click, left mouse click, or on, on a Windows, I believe it is um, either control, left mouse click, or option, alt, left mouse click. We'll edit. We can, we can get this little menu that popped up click edit and that'll let us position our model that'll let us uh, resize the model um, and then you know kind of rotate and position it like we want now for example if we were going to do a, a museum um, and then that would just be to uh, remove the edit box but if we want to do, do a small little museum we could we could import a building import you know some of these um, skeletons uh, place them inside the the building and then once we have what we want we would go up here to place and save and we would save that world and I'll just call this dino skull and okay now one thing I want to show you is is um, how we're gonna get around this little texture bug so we're gonna bring up and this is gonna store our worlds in the cache directory so if we look at the cache directory and if I sort by date, we are going to see all of the all of the things that I here it is. There we go. Okay, cache. Sort by date. All of the things that I just created. And you can see the date, the date stamp, everything here. Um, today, 1030. Now I'm going to save this and I'm going to watch this real close. I want to save it again. So I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to space, save, dino, 
skull, and OK. I'm going to look at all these files that saved here just in that past you know, minute that I saved them. And it looks like those two. So what we're going to want to do is take these two files and uh, create a create another directory here. Uh, let's go ahead and new folder. Dino skull. Oops. Now we'll go ahead and just take those two files, both of those files that it created. What it's doing is it's caching a texture and then it's caching the world. And right now what should happen is this texture likely would need to be stored in the world, but right now it's not, so we'll need both of those files. We'll put them into our little dino skull. Now what we can do is we can um, take that, compress that folder. Now we've basically got the world we just created in this one zip file. We can take that zipped up file, um, relatively small, but that there's just one model in a world there. So um, take that world and then set it out there on the web. If you want, send it to me at rich.white at greenbush.org, and I can set it out there um, on the web also. Or you can go to edgesim.ning.com and share it through the users group. Share your world through the users group too. So um, that, in a nutshell, is basically how you would leverage uh, SketchUp to build a little Cobalt world, Cobalt EdgeSim world. As I've mentioned, EdgeSim is basically an abbreviated version of the Cobalt platform, the open source work. Um, so take that, build a world, and share it. And that's basically that, the process. So I'll uh, cut some more. Cut some more tutorials here as features are, are made available, but I wanted to share that. Thanks.